Welcome back. At Erlanger, trauma events happen in adult emergency, children's emergency, and on the floor when someone is in critical distress like a cardiac arrest. A chaplain responds to all trauma calls at Erlanger 24-7. Ministry is threefold. Presence care and support for families, presence care and support for the patients, and presence care and support for the staff. News that their loved one is in the emergency room or in critical dis distress is also a trauma for the family. A chaplain goes to the family, introduces himself, and offers to call the pastoral care, care department. We'll give you that number in a few minutes. Uh, Mr. Olin Grubbs is with us. Olin, welcome to our program. Thank you. You know, I think we forget the importance of, of ministers being in a hospital situation because you think doctors and equipment and curing and all that other kind of stuff, but you forget there's another, another avenue. Very much so. I mean, even being sick in your life creates an emotional and crisis in your life, spiritual questions, and you're very vulnerable, and the need for support that helps you care for yourself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually contributes to your physical health. And if you're caring for families, you're caring for the patient indirectly because you're supporting that kind of uh, care for the family because they are uh, worried, upset, anxious, and uh, hold a lot of uh, feelings inside and offering support, care, relationship, calling on the resources of their faith or their particular religious group. Uh, it's vitally important to cope in with whatever happens. I mean, it's a crisis time. Is that additional training, I guess you would say, or how the, is the training administered to, to ministers to be able to go into that situation? Yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> chaplains would be theologically trained from a seminary, mm -hmm. and then they invest in at least a year of residency training in clinical pastoral education so they can learn the dynamics of crisis counseling, how to be with families in crisis, understand families, yeah. uh, understand ethical decisions that people have to make in the hospital, understand grief, uh, understand the tension between healing and hope, and when things don't turn out so well, where's the healing and the hope in that? And this is 24-7 at Erlanger, right? Somebody's there, spends the night in the hospital every night, answers every trauma call, any emergency up on the floor, or any request for a chaplain uh, every day. Seems like that takes quite a few people. Right now we operate with five chaplain residents that are in our year-long training program, uh -huh. two full-time staff, which we've had at Erlanger for a good while, and then occasionally some volunteers in our clinical pastoral education program help us on the weekends for that kind of coverage. What do the volunteers do? Essentially the same thing. They're clergy oh, okay. that are chaplains and they're taking one unit of training and doing their service in the hospital while they're in that training. So they're doing the same thing essentially that the chaplain resident would be doing. They're just uh, in a shorter span of time, I guess. Uh, now, I know Erlanger's commitment, we just said 24-7. What about other hospitals, either in the south or around the nation? Do they, yeah. they do, do this sort of thing as well? Yes, uh, in Chattanooga Memorial has a very excellent pastoral care yeah. staff. Yeah. And of course, years ago, they started with the, the priest, I'm sure. Uh, Park Ridge has a chaplain. Um, there are volunteer chaplains at some of the other surrounding hospitals. Yeah. <clears throat> but your major hospitals will often have a pastoral care and counseling department usually have an educational department that goes with that to train clergy. Yeah, that's good to know. Yeah. That, that is very good. By the way, if you would like more information, you can call the uh, Pastoral Care Department at 778-7177. There's a phone number on our website, newschannelline.com, 778-7177. Thanks, sir. Pleasure to see you today. Thank you. Let's go to the kitchen. Mr. Food's there, and uh, we're going to learn of pasta possibilities.